Oh, welcome, boy. gents. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Up and Holly. So when you, what were you just saying then? When we were playing that, how long did you have to, to, to learn that? Um, well, it was kind of like, originally we were doing nurse song, but then we switched over to that song because we felt it was suitable for the night. Every mm. time we play that back to you. Four, but it's cool. Would you, because every time I've played that back to you there, and when we played it to you in the Xbox studio, you've both gone, oh. I know, because I feel um, we could have done a better job, but it's okay now. I think um, we're okay with it. I think it's fine. Oh, we had so I... much fun. Like, it was... Yeah, like, think about it. We're on the X Factor. It's like the coolest show ever. And like we're part, we're part of this year. And now we're on This Morning with Holly Willoughby. He's on the X Factor. <laughs> we basically just saw you last night and now we're here again. And now we're I love fancy that. It's like, bye Holly. <laughs> oh, hey Holly. <laughs> <laughs> but we, did, we just want to like, thank everyone because like, the whole X Factor, like, it's been so cool. Like All the people we work with, like our fashion stylists, like Brian Friedman, Evie, they've all been so helpful. And, yeah. everyone, and I want to ask you guys, because fans. now that we're away from the studio and the X Factor and everybody who works on it, how did you sort of deal with that attention? Because you've literally divided a nation. You were booed, you were praised, you were cheered, you've been slated, you've been, you know, yeah. hailed as the saviours. I mean, how do you deal with that? Because all the way along, you've been the constant. I don't know, when we never, like, everyone comes and says that to us and say, whoa, guys, you're so big, but we don't actually realise how big the hype is because we don't really... Because so like right now we're just focusing on the X, we are focusing on the X Factor, but now we're not in it anymore. But you just feel all the support from all your fans, and we can't believe what, that the fans and everyone voted for us every single week. And we got to week seven. Like it's great to be here. But well, I thought they were rude in the studio. I thought yeah. it was bad form that you got booed when you when you came out over the weekend. And uh, and and I actually don't think it should be allowed. I don't think you should be allowed to boo anyone once you're in there. How do you feel about that? I mean, you what are you 18? Yeah, and we're, we're 17 at the beginning of the show. Yeah. So living the dream, uh, and yeah. yes, it, you know, it is a TV show. You know, this is not brain surgery. So, so you know, you've been in there. You're on there. You've uh, you've enjoyed it. There were times when you really weren't very good, but we've enjoyed the performance. <laughs> but you. what did you think about about the the, the, the booing and the, and the reaction? I think that there's always going to be people who are not going to like you, and people are there to see other acts. Like they're probably there to see like their friends and family, and they're probably going, "Oh, it's John Nedder." Let's boo them, whatever. Do you know what I mean? We don't really focus too much on it. We just focus on all the kind things that have happened to us, all the nice people we've been around, and all the support that we've got from all our fans, and all like the people giving us tips during the whole entire show, and they helped us get through it. And like people come up and give us advice and tell us how to, what to do and everything. Do you know what I mean? Just give us advice, and we get to talk to such normal people, and it's great. That, the thing uh, is that we're like we're on live TV and we can't let that affect us because we have to realise that we're going on to like 17 million people and we have to like focus on our performance and, and realise that so much people have like killed for this opportunity we just need to go for it. You and have it, got each other always, which I yeah. guess is the strength you've got. You've got one another to yeah. fall back on. I don't know. It's kind of weird because when we're on the show with Dermot, you know, you get asked at the end of performance like, "How was that?" Do you know what I mean sometimes you don't get to fully explain how you felt and how you how it was? Like we just had like such a great time in the show. We always went out there and gave it our all. We worked really, really hard. Like all the songs we had, there's songs that we don't, didn't even know. The only song we kind of were familiar with was Oops, I Did It Again. We always like, were up practicing really, really late at night time, learning all the lyrics, and we gave it our all, and we just had a lot of fun. And the thing is that we always give everything a try. Like we never turned a song down. Everything that we were given, we always like, worked to our full potential at the song. Like we kind of always kind of just throw us out in the performance. What's next then, guys? What would you like to do? I mean, people keep saying about presenting, but I imagine you want to stay as singers because that was yeah. why you entered this competition. Yeah. That's what you want to do, ideally. Yeah, I think the main focus for us is music at the moment, but in the future, it'd be cool to do different projects and whatever suits us. Do you know what I mean? We'll, we'll always think about it. We'll always talk to each other about it and see if that's what we're feeling at the moment. Like, if we're feeling it, we'll do it. Do you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever comes around the corner, We'll give it a go and see how it goes. Well, the Prime Minister was on last week. and, uh, That's and so cool. And we, yeah, we even had, hey. a, had a chat with him about it. <laughs> this is what he said. One final question. Jedward to win the X-Men. <laughs> they might. They might. I said, you got into trouble. I, 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 was, I got into a bit of a problem because I said I didn't think they were very good at singing, but uh, they're very good at other things. But, and, Great at performing. Singing. That's the line Stace, you need Stacey to go. Stacey very good. Stacey. Stacey. Do you, my, do my, you children, sit, my children love that. Uh, do, do you sit down and watch it with them? Uh, yes. And uh, Daryl they like, Stacey they like. Uh, um, I don't know who's going to win, but, uh, but I, I'd rather burn my boots with Jedward. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. He said Daryl, but you can understand that because it's so Daniel many with a wine. Say Darryl in the name. Yeah, a lot of so say many that. people say it. But who do you think is going to win? I don't know. I don't want to kind of sit back here and say he's going to win because I want people to sit here and go, "Oh, they said she's going to win." Oops. Ah, you can but I was say, because, no, because I don't want to, I don't want to change anything because I don't want people to think, oh yeah, this and that. I think that the people should go for the person who gives them all, a person who's real, who keeps it real, and isn't 
um, trying to be someone they're not, someone who's original. I want people to get full behind whoever they think is the greatest. <laughs> no, nice recovery. You gave you guys. You were very hint. close to Stacey, though, weren't you? Yeah. You two, like in the house and stuff. It was Stacey. You were like, yeah, she's a real, she's a real genuine girl. She's real. She was really herself. Like she has a really good heart. And she's yeah, like, she's great it singer. means the best. Like, we have so much fun and everything. Well, Peaches Geldof on her uh, Twitter said uh, last night, the end of an era, but their legacy lives on in the hearts of millions, always and forever united in our battle cry of Jed, we can. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Um, so, That's will you cool go life. back? Are you back to Ireland now? What, what, what's, the, what's the plan? What will you do now? Um, well, right now we're doing this morning. And I think we're going to be doing more um, <laughs> highlight of the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a kind of like the Oprah show, kind of. Oprah? Right. I said, oh, seal mic. Just it's don't okay, worry guys. About it's fine. But anyway, right now we're just kind of starting to focus and just kind of move, open up. Like, we're not going to kind of sit back and kind of go, oh my God, we're on the X-Rod now, we're voted off. We're just going to stay focused and kind of talk about it and see what's going to come Because I think it all comes down to you wanting to get where you want to be. It's not about, you got to know exactly what's going on around you. You can't just have people going, go here, go there. you got to yeah. know what's going on around you and you got to know what you want to do. And at the end of the day, it all comes down to you moving forward, about you wanting Us. to move forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Oh, we know well, look, I, look, I look forward to seeing what's going to happen. It's very, very exciting. Can you skate? Ah, uh, we are. We we're we're, we're Look pretty, at us we're pretty like, good at we're pretty good up. at rollerblading. Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. You're Excellent. in. Excellent. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, <Marvelous>. boys. <laughs> well, and if that wasn't enough, X Factor for you. Take an exclusive look at what went on behind the scenes when former contestants JLS came to our studios a few weeks ago by logging on to itv.com forward slash this morning.